Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be building an NFT membership pass and we will be token gating a Discord to only allow holders of an NFT to access certain channel. Now, we're first going to create an ERC-1155 smart contract, which is going to allow us to create one NFT that will have multiple owners. And with that, we will then use Guild XYZ to token gate our Discord and verify if someone holds one of these passes or key NFTs. Now, if they do, they'll get access to certain channels within our Discord. And if they don't, they won't get access. So with that being said, let's get started. Right here on my computer, I am on my third web dashboard. I'm going to browse contracts here really quick. And we're going to deploy an addition drop contract. Now, you can read a little bit more about the addition drop contract. Again, it is an ERC-1155 contract. And you can also view the extensions, the functions, the source code, for the contract here. In the top right, I'm going to select deploy now. We'll name this key pass. I will give it a symbol of key. And I also have an image of our key NFT that I'll drag right into the image section. You can add a description. You can also edit the wallet addresses for royalties and primary sales as well. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to select the network or chain to deploy this on. For this demo, we are going to deploy it onto Gur early. So I have that selected, but you can select from the drop down and search any network or chain to deploy your contract to. We do support any EVM compatible chain. We'll select the deploy now and we'll confirm that transaction and we'll then sign to add it to our dashboard. Once that has been successfully deployed, we'll be brought to our overview page of our contract. Here we'll have a contract checklist pop up at the top. You can see we completed the first item of deploying our contract. Next, we need to upload our NFTs. So if we click on the NFT tabs link here, it'll bring us to the extensions for our NFTs. And this is where we can upload our NFT. We'll select single upload. We'll name our NFT. We'll name it just key. We'll bring in our image here and you can add your description and properties as well. Once everything is to your liking, we'll select Lazy Mint NFT. We'll confirm that transaction. And once the NFT has successfully deployed before our smart contract is finished here, we do need to set up the claim conditions for our NFT. So we'll select the NFT, we'll head on over to the claim conditions tab and we'll select add phase. Here we can configure the parameters and the conditions for the claim phase that we will set up. So you can name it, you can select a start date, you can select how many NFTs will be in this drop. We're gonna leave it on unlimited you can put how much you want to charge. We're going to leave it as free. You can select who can claim. We'll leave it as anyone can claim. The only restriction we're going to change is how many NFTs can be claimed per wallet. And we're going to change that over to one. We'll then hit save phase and we'll confirm this transaction. And once that has saved, we are now done with our NFT smart contract. Now, the next thing we need to do is set up our Discord server. So heading on over to Discord here. Now, if you have a server already set up and you just want to add this functionality, you can skip ahead to the guild setup. But if you don't have a server set up or you want to see how the configuration should be set up, you can follow these steps. We'll first create a server and I'm just going to select uh, own server for a community or club and we'll name this uh, test server here. We'll hit create. And by default, Discord will create a few general channels and a voice channel. We'll delete the voice channels out of here just to make things a bit more clean. Uh, this text channel here, we're going to right click on it and we will edit category and we're going to select permissions and we're going to make this category private and we'll save changes. And from there, we'll add a, another category. We'll name this one NFT. We'll make this one private as well. We're going to skip the roles or members for now. And we're going to add a channel in there called NFT. We will make that one private too. And then we will skip this here. Now, what Guild is going to do is it is going to assign roles to members of your Discord based on the requirements that you set. So what happens is these channels will be only accessible by certain roles and those roles will be distributed to users based on whatever requirements you set to be verified through Guild. And that's how token gating these channels will work. And Guild does that all for you. Now we do need a channel where people 
who aren't verified yet can verify. So we're gonna create one more channel. We're gonna call it the verify. This one's not gonna be private because this will be the channel open to everyone. And now to take a look at this, we were going to copy our invite code here and I'm gonna head on over to a different account that isn't an admin to this server and let's join our server. So this is what it will look like to a user who comes to our server. Right now, we can only see the Verify channel and we can't see the general or the NFT section yet. So what we're gonna do now is set up a guild so that people can verify. And if they hold our NFT, they can also verify if they own the NFT. So we're gonna come on over to guild.xyz. We'll drop a link down in description. You can see here, we can create a guild and you can select a platform here that you want to create the guild for. We're gonna select the Discord. We're gonna connect our wallet and verify our account and then sign that message. We'll select Discord one more time. We can see here that we have our Discord servers. We have our test server here and that's the server we want to add our bot to. So we will select add bot. We will then have to authorize the bot. So we will select the server and authorize. We'll confirm we are not a robot. And from here, the next thing we need to do is make sure that Guildbot is above any role that it has to manage. We don't have any roles yet, but that is something to keep in mind to make sure that the guild verification works. So we'll hit next. You can choose from templates here, uh, but we're gonna start from scratch just so we can go over everything. And then we'll select next. And you can add a name, a URL, description, and a logo and everything for your guild. We're not gonna do that for this demo. We're just gonna select create guild. Once that is done, by default here, we are gonna have one row. We're gonna edit this. We're gonna call it uh, verified. And in order to get this verified row, all you need to do is connect your Ethereum wallet. So we're gonna click save here. So we take a look at our server here. Right now, as a user, I don't have a way to verify myself into this server. So coming back here, up here at the top of guild, we're gonna hit next and we're gonna go through some of this and we're gonna send the Discord bot join button to our server. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to select the verify channel and send that over. So you can see the join button is sent. So now as a demo user, I can select join server and I can verify myself. Now, if I select that right now, this account I have has a wallet already set up. So you can see I joined successively and got the verified role. If you don't have a wallet set up, this link here will bring you to the guild server to connect your wallet. Now, I don't see anything and that's because we haven't set up our channels properly in our Discord. So coming back to our admin account, for our general channel, if we hit the settings under permissions, we can add a row now and we can now see the verified row. So verified people should be able to see our general chat. So if I hit done, I come back and I switch back over to our demo user. Because I am verified, I can now see the general row. I still cannot see the NFT row. And we will set that up next in our guild. So here, what I'm gonna do is add a row we're going to name this row NFT and we're going to add a requirement. And again, this requirement is that they have to own a specific NFT. So we're going to select NFT. We can select the chain that this NFT is on, which it is on Gurley. I'm going to come back over to my smart contract dashboard here, copy my contract address, paste that in here. And the requirement is they have to earn a, own a certain amount and that amount minimum amount is one. So we're going to add that requirement and we're going to save this row. And you can now see here we have this NFT role. You can even look at the count of members. Now we do have two people verified, which is our admin and our demo user. And we don't have anyone yet for our NFT. So next thing we'll do is we will now mint an NFT to our wallet address and gain access to our role. So heading back to our dashboard here, we're gonna claim an NFT from this dashboard. So I'm gonna select the NFT. Actually, we're gonna switch wallets here really quick. So I'm gonna select the NFT. I'm gonna head on over to claim and claim one NFT. We'll confirm that transaction. And once we have claimed that NFT, you can see here, we have a supply of one. Let's head back on over to Guild. Let's refresh this page here. And you can now see that we have access to our NFT row because we do own one of the NFT passes. 
Now again, we'll come back to our Discord here. We'll switch back over to our admin. And under this NFT, we will make sure that the permissions are set so that the NFT role has access to it. And we can come down and switch back to our demo account. And we now have access to the NFT channel because we own the NFT in our connected wallet. And there you go. We went ahead and created our very own ERC-1155 membership NFT. And we then created a Discord server and token gated certain channels of that Discord to only allow holders of this NFT to access. And we did that using a tool called Guild XYZ. Now, if you folks did find this video helpful and you found some value in it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on tutorials just like this and if you haven't joined our discord community yet join the amazing community of builders just like yourself if you need any support or you have any questions you can drop them in the discord and we'll be happy to help you out now again i hope you folks enjoyed this video found some value in it and until next time see ya